through this forehand beautifully. Just unbelievable racket head speed, and, and you like to see the racket head speed because that means she's hitting it with belief behind it. This goes three sets, and you know, a later to the third. They shouldn't start a men's match at midnight. And that's what you're looking at. Ah! Yeah, it's, a, it's if right now, obviously. But but it, if if that happened, you're talking about a match that easily would go three, four hours easily. Right. And then throw would, completely throw the player that wants because sure. he's going to go to bed what eight in the seven eight in the morning. Would you want to be the one to announce that here in the uh, stadium? <laughs> he might be the best yeah. person to yeah. do yeah. it. Well, I've done those type of things before. in and Venus Williams hoping to push it towards a third hour hoping to get this into a third set she had three set points at 5-3 obviously did not convert and now Serena hopes to push this to a, a tie break push for one of the two, but in the, in the interest of the men, you know, I'm put, I'm pulling for Serena to win this, because I think it's, it's going to be ugly it's, if, if this keeps going. I mean, it's they've been on court two hours, and obviously what happened last night was a bummer for you know, everyone, because Roddick went out and, you know, killed Gonzalez in an hour and a half, and they moved the women's matches. What they should have done was the right thing to do. No one expected that it to go that fast. Exactly. But, it was the right play, and it ended up with an unfortunate result. But, but, but two wrongs don't make a right, and that actually was the right thing. That was just bad luck mm -hmm. that Gonzalez right. didn't come to play, right. and Andy played great. You can't control everything all the time in the players. They, they have a luxury here, and, and the, the men have two days off that semi. So you think that'd be better? No, oh, that, you know, that's up to the players in a way, and I just think it would be a shame as you see Venus smack a winner and be two points from leveling this, okay? So it's gonna, it looks like it could go to a second. The, the players after what happened with Hewitt Baghdadis, where they went on court, what was the time 11 of that? 48, they uh, went on court, 11, got off oh, about 4.30 in the morning. Maybe later. And, you know, what chance did Hewitt have the next round? Against Joe Kovic. Yeah. You know, it's just, you know, he, what time did he go to bed that night? It's like 7 in the morning, but time to do okay. everything at, at the least, match. At least. Points hanging there. It has nothing to do with the fact that I'm taking my daughter Anna to school at seven. <laughs> <laughs>
six there. Four of those on our own serve. Doing the points. Thank you very much. Cigar does he smoke? I'm willing to think, think of taking that off. Uh, He's got the best voice of any umpire. It's like that boxing guy. Let's get ready to rumble. That's nice. But sir. I might even please, please, please. <laughs> Okay, all right. I don't know about that, Johnny Mac. Yeah, that's true. And that time, Serena going wide. Adventure through and over. Her second game point. Opportunity there. Just dragged it down into the net. Pulled over with that left hand just a little bit too much. Closed that racket head. She wants it so badly. practice. She's really working hard and she wants to reap the benefits. I, well, she is. How many times in the last few years have you seen that Serena could play points like that? And not be winded. I'm saying reap the benefits. She wants a Grand Slam title. Venus has hers this year. Where, where Serena, you know, kind of came on and off the tour, so I don't think her expectations were as high. A lot of moving. Look at the face. Oh, so Fired up. 